someone shoots you, you shoot somebody. Not only are you destroying, gonna cause so much pain, and then you go to jail for that, because eventually it'll catch up. Then your mom is in pain. Your parents are in pain because you're locked up and they can't ever have you. Or you're going to court, I see moms grieving for their children that are incarcerated or are accused of it. Moms that are grieving that they're, because they know their kids are involved. But they put the blind eye on. Well, what? I can't turn my child in. Being in a gang, you're going to always have people on you. Your houses are going to be chances to be raided. You know, a raid. You're, you're being part of a gang. Um, you may not, just by looking, dressing like that, can put you and your family at risk. Fathers have been shot because of their children. And murdered and buried because of their children, because of their relatives. Little children are getting shot in their own homes. We could do a lot more as parents. Mm -hmm. You know, I could have done a lot. I could have. But I always said, my boy's not, he's, he's smart. Yes, he's smart. But you know, bullets don't have names on them, you know? Mm -hmm. They don't, they don't have names. They just fly. Violence that doesn't have, it's just, shoo, when it's on, it's on. As officer said, well, I'm sorry to say this, but your son has been shot. April 3rd, he passed. They, they, they asked me if I would turn off the, the machine. I said yes. I think the hardest part was seeing when they lowered him in the ground because I knew that was the final thing. So he was 19 when he passed away. He was killed. The opportunity to share my experience with other parents especially if their um, their kids are dressing, you know, out of the ordinary colors. And the director of our group will ask, he'll stand up and ask them, how many of you in this group can tell me that they, they know or they think, that they believe they will live, they'll make it to the age of 21. And out of that group of 15 or 20, depending, you know, the youth center, juvenile hall, out of that group, maybe two or three hands will go up. The, the rest of them don't. They know they're not going to make it. So we did a rally the other day, us moms. We did a rally, and we will take continue to take steps toward toward peace. We will continue to 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 save lives. We have to.